Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Welcome to A Day in the Life with me, Moa. I'm going to help you create beautiful, flowy beach waves. So if that's the video you're looking for, you came to the right place. And I don't normally brush my hair. I just use a curling iron. This is probably a one inch, probably one and one quarter inch big barrel curling iron and the brand is hot tools i also like to use a wand because it gets really hot and depending on how tight i want my curls to be depends on how big the curling iron is so if i want tighter curls i'll use a smaller curling iron if i want flowy beach waves i'll use a larger curling iron like this one right here so let's get started So there's one curl and I normally like to curl my hair with the curling iron sticking straight up and down. They used to call it spiral curl, but I find that's what gives me the pretty beach waves. And depending on how loose I want it, if I want a tight curl, I'll hold the curling iron for a longer time because the heat is what creates the curl. And once it cools, that's what sets the curl. Sometimes I'll just leave a piece hanging at the bottom and it gives it a different look like that little piece right there, that piece right there. I'll leave that hanging at the bottom and it gives it a different look. And sometimes I'll roll it all the way to my head. And then other times I will maybe just keep a little bit of it straight on top and then curl the rest of my hair. But it just depends on the look that I'm going for. And I always curl with the curling iron going back. On this side, I curl my hair going towards my back. And on the other side, I'll curl it that way, if that makes sense. But that's just the look that I like, and that's why I go that route. So as you can see, these curls are done. I still have to go to the back. And when I get all the way to the back, I'll just pull it forward and so this the right side of my head i'll curl back that way and then the left side of my head i'll curl back that way just a few more to do and it doesn't have to be perfect i mean just as long as you get it in that curling iron and hot i think it should be fine there you go so here is the other side of my head and i will start in the back and i will curl it oh which way does it go i curl it back like that I would probably section my hair off into smaller sections because you want to get all the strands really hot and if you have thick sections then the hair on top doesn't doesn't get as hot as the hairs on the bottom touching the curling iron. But I'm seeing a lot of grays in my hair so it's probably almost time for me to color my hair. And as you can see I'm going towards the back, small sections. And I'm just going to look straight because I need to see myself. I'm looking in my vanity mirror. Sometimes I get so impatient with curling my hair because I have so much hair. And it takes a lot of time in my opinion. I have no patience whatsoever. There's that curl. And I'm sorry I'm not looking at you. Hey, good morning. Ellie's getting ready for her trip to the lake with her BFF. They're going to go. What are you going to do at the lake, Ellie? <clears throat> Are you going to um, wakeboard or what are you going to do? We're going to go tubing. You, okay, so they're going tubing. How fun is that going to be? It'll be Ellie's first time. So Chuck brought her to Dick's the other day just to make sure she has a life jacket. He spent $100 on a life jacket, but he wants to make sure that it fits her correctly. I'm paranoid about that. Oh, it looks like it's about to. Ooh. Okay, I'm almost done. So let me tell you a little backstory about me. I, okay, so I graduated from LSU and then I got a job in, I got a job at a jewelry store 
loved it because that's what made me realize that I love sales and dealing with people. I absolutely love the art of selling and I found my niche. And then I was working at like Old Navy and just some other random stores in the mall, whatever. It was fun. The management was great. It was a fun store. And plus I got discounts at that time, just straight out of college. That was good. I wasn't making that much money. And so, I don't know. I was just kind of like trying to figure out my life and what to do. My mom had this great plan because my aunt became a cosmetologist. She said, Mary, you should go to the Abeda Cosmetology School. And I was living in Baton Rouge at that time. And I was like, okay, sure, I'll do it. So I went to the Abeda Institute of Cosmetology and learned how to do hair, cut, color. We worked on nails. Um, what I realized is that I do not like to deal with toenails. I, I was close about that. That's just not my thing. I just, I couldn't do it. I just, I don't know. So that was my thing and then i graduated i think it took me like a year to graduate from the veda institute of cosmetology and at that time the tuition was around like ten thousand dollars which is wasn't too bad but i had already had my college degree and i was just trying to figure out what to do with my life my mom thought i would make a great business owner and she was just always looking out for me i love my mom so much with that thank you mom okay i'm almost done Hair. So that's how I know so much about hair and products and I color my own hair. See the tips? I do that at the house. And sometimes it takes me about three or four days to finish coloring my hair because it's such a process. Now, if I'm doing it all in color and I'm coloring um, grays and things like that, that'll take like no time at all. But if I am putting highlights or I was trying to do a balayage and things like that, and that took a little bit more time because my hair is so dark and I don't have what do you call one of those uh, dryers that you sit underneath that blows hot air because you need the hot air to lift the BW. BW basically is bleach and I need bleach and I need 40 volume. I need because my hair is so black. Like look how black it is compared to this. That's the true color of my hair and it's hard to lift that kind of hair. So what you need is a lot of bleach in high volumes i go to sally's and i used to have a membership there i don't think i have a membership membership anymore i haven't had one for years just because i don't use it as much but that's how i know how to do my hair so there we go if you're happy with the curls that you um, made with the curling iron i'll just run my hands through my hair like that And then you got some beach waves. So I'll look around to make sure I haven't missed any pieces. Yeah. Need any help with anything? Uh -huh. Okay, here's a piece that that's not that curly. So I'm gonna go back with the curling iron and recurl that one piece. I'm gonna get this one all the way to my scalp so that it has a nice curl. Ugh, all these little hairs is itching my face. Okay. All right. So what do you think? Looks good? I think I'm happy with that. I just, I don't want it too curly, but look at this. That piece is not curled enough for me. See, there's only the end piece. So use my curling iron and curl it and get right near the scalp, but be careful not to burn yourself. Okay. Okay, that's better. So you want to be really careful when you choose the type of products to um, play, put in your hair. To hold it, you can use hairspray. I never use hairspray. What I'll use is, I use a paste, which is kind of thick. Or the last time I went to the hairdresser, which was a couple weeks ago, he used a texture texturizing spray. It was light and it wasn't too heavy in my hair. I, sometimes I use a wax, which is really heavy, but because my hair is my hair is so thick, it can tolerate that, and it's not too much for my hair. So here's a piece that's just not doing anything. I'm gonna curl it real quick and get it close to my scalp. There we go. Okay, so normally I part my hair on this side. And now that's it. That's how I do my hair every morning.
sometimes I give myself a break. I never blow dry my hair. I normally go to bed at night. Most of the times I will shower at night and then I'll sleep with my hair wet. And so in the morning it is dry and ready for me to fix or style. Okay, so I bought this product at TJ Maxx. Can you see it? And it was only $9, so not too bad. But it's a um, flexible hold gel. And this is what it looks like. It's not too thick. But it's not the cream. It's not... It's... I don't know. I don't know what it is. But it doesn't feel too sticky. So what I'm going to do is I'll use that. And less is more when you're doing your hair and putting products in your hair. Because you can always add, but you can't take out. So I'm very careful not to overdo it because I know that if I do, I don't want to start over with curling my hair. So what I'll do is I'll just put some light products in it. And then let's do the side part. Mm, like, see, that piece is not really curly, but that's okay. I'm looking more for like just um, loose waves today, and it will pro it would definitely fall because it's so hot outside that my hair would definitely fall. So I'm okay with that. Plus, I'm not really going anywhere, but I do like to fix my hair in the morning. So that's a lot of product. I feel like that's good. Okay, so look at that piece right there. That is going to drive me nuts. It's so straight. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to straighten it out and make it unknot it as much as I can with my hands. And of course, you can use a comb or a brush, but I am just going to use my hands, and then I'm going to curl that piece, make it look pretty. Uh -huh, I wonder if it's going to rain today. I want to go play tennis, but we'll see. There we go. There's that piece. Much better. And there you have it. Just a little bit of blush. A little bit of lip gloss. I'm good to go. If you have any questions about products or how to curl your hair or anything about that, I'm going to link my curling iron in the description below. I'm also going to link some products in the description below, such as that texturizing spray as well as gel or a wax that you can put in your hair. When I'm straightening my hair, I love to use gloss drops. So if you have straight hair and you want the flyaways, something to manage the flyaways as well as make it look nice and sleek. There is a product that I absolutely love and it's a Paul Mitchell product and I'll link it in the description below so check it out.